Hello, this is Mike Mezzalongo for BibleTalk.tv. An important topic that parents and teens often discuss is the subject of maturity. Parents and teens do not have the same idea about what maturity actually means. Teens, for example, think that maturity means having the following things. Freedom to go and do what you want, when, where, and how you want. Owning your own car having a girlfriend or a boyfriend, leaving home for college or getting your own apartments. Uh, parents, on the other hand, think maturity means doing it their way, but with your own money. In other words, you do what they think you should do. Clean your room, do your chores, be nice, go to church, whatever. You finally get a job and start paying for your own car, your own girlfriend, your own stuff, etc. And then eventually you get your own home and your own kids to argue with. So let's consider, however, what God thinks about maturity. First of all, you want to do what he wants. The key is that you want what he wants, not because your parents want this or because you are afraid, but actually because you want to do what pleases God. And you would obey him no matter what your parents or friends thought. Number two, giving to others what belongs to you so others can grow and develop, so that they can mature. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. John 12, verse 24. The point is that true maturity is seen when one realizes that they have the ability to help others and use what they have to do so. Coaching, counseling, sharing, providing an example, giving to help someone grow. These are true signs of maturity. Thirdly, when you realize that this earth is not a final stop. You see, if all you want to do is have some fun, as the song says, you really don't understand. True maturity comes when you realize that heaven or hell is our final stop not this place. I mean, it's okay to have some fun, but if that's all you want to do, then you're in trouble. Most of the pressure and tension you feel with your parents and they with you is usually about maturity. When are you going to grow up? The problem is that both teens and parents want the same thing, but do not see it the same way. The funny thing is that you want to grow up as much as they want you to. I suppose the answer will come when both parents and teens work toward maturity in their own lives according to God's view of what is mature. My prayer is that you all mature according to God's view. First, you want to do what he wants. Second, you give what you own in order to help others. And third, you're not too comfy here and live like someone who is going to heaven. Well, that's it for this week's Monday Morning Devotional. I pray that God bless you this entire week. Discussion questions. Number one, as a parent, how do you consciously measure your child's maturing process? Number two, what, in your opinion, could churches do to encourage teens to be faithful Christians? What do you think they are doing that discourages young people from attending church services? Number three, what can grandparents do to help mature their grandchildren?